A dream of seeing Jerusalem brought four Christians on a 4,300 kilometer walk from Switzerland through over a dozen countries and into the thick of one Arab revolution. And which countries have you crossed? Well, we started in Switzerland, then we crossed uh, through northern Italy, Austria, Slovenia, ex Yugoslavia, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, and then Bulgaria, Turkey, Syria, Jordan, and now we are here. The six month pilgrimage ended last week when Franz Mali and his friends walked into Jerusalem just in time for Christmas. An Austrian born Roman Catholic priest, Mali currently teaches theology and the history of religion in Freiburg, Switzerland. This was Mali's first trip to Israel, which he said deserved more respect than an easy plane ride. For me, it's, it's not enough respect to come by plane. For me, the, the possibility to walk, and Christian asked me if I can uh, go with him uh, to, to make this pilgrimage. And at that moment, I, I, I thought, yeah, this is the, let's say, the way how I can express my respect to this country, to these holy places. The trip was planned for two years by the program director of the LaSalle House in Switzerland, Christian Rotteshauser. Although he has visited Israel many times before, before, Christian said he chose to organize the walking pilgrimage to put himself into a more appropriate and spiritual state of mind. So the, the most important thing is to do it by foot, then you have time, you are vulnerable, you, um, uh, you are non-violent. So uh, even a, a car, when you are walking all the time, on, sometimes on highways uh, in Turkey, you feel the, uh, the violence of our, our traffic, of our culture. And when you are just walking, uh, you look to the, to the society and to look to, to life uh, just from the outside. Before making their final stop in Jordan, the group spent 16 days walking through Syria, well aware of the dangers of crossing the country during its violent revolt. They were unable to arrange for security ahead of time, so the group avoided the cities involved with the revolt and were eventually escorted by government security agents. Let's say the first two days they did not, uh, let's say, introduce themselves to us. Right. But on the third day they introduced themselves to us and we are these people and we will uh, go with you and we will be after you, behind you and we will follow you all the way till the why, other why, side why, of the border. Why? The four pilgrims were met by a few dozen people in Jordan who had followed the trip on their blog and joined them for their final stretch from Amman to Jerusalem. In Israel, besides praying and touring the holy sites, the pilgrims will participate in an interfaith conference in Jerusalem. An experienced hiker from his days growing up in the hills of Austria, Franz said that the secret to not getting tired over such a long trip was only walking 30 kilometers a day. How are your feet? How are your feet? Ah, my feet? Oh, yeah. my feet are well, absolutely perfect. I didn't have any problems all the way. Uh, you know, sometimes you are tired. It's, it's not an extraordinary feeling if you walk every day. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.